Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, we have a lot to discuss today because currently Bitcoin is the first time breaking out from a bearish pattern, so let's see what is the target here and what are my expectations here for the weekend. And also we're going to analyze the Bitcoin dominance and the Ethereum chart today because we have some very nice price action going on right there. So let's start right here in the one hour time frame here in the Bitcoin price because as you can see since we had here this rising wedge the first time that the bearish pattern is breaking out to the downside right now is happening right now and as you can see currently we are just coming down to the 200 moving average here in the one hour time frame at $17,400. So what I had here was a little short position. Once I got here first time a sell signal and I added into my short right here when I got another confirmed sell signal right at $18,900. Currently I have closed already my short position and probably I gonna swap it over into a long pretty soon because remember that we closed the CMEs at $18,600 on Friday. So most likely we're gonna retrace back to this price level on Monday and that's that's why I think what we have seen right now could be just a fake out or at least a little dip and we should look for long this dip and buy this dip because I think that Bitcoin still can go higher and possibly also break 20k. So I'm waiting here in the one hour time frame to have another buy signal in order to open up a small long position because keep in mind that we could still fall towards $12,000 where the 20 weekly moving average is lining up. But for example here on Bybit if you go only with a 5x or a 10x leverage long already now with this dip that we have seen right now you can easily manage your trade even down towards $12,000 for the worst case. So even if we would start to correct that low right now you can easily keep alive your trade and scale in down to 12,000 if you think that Bitcoin is going higher. And at the other hand if we crash down you can buy even more cheaper Bitcoin and you can scale in even more into your long position. So if you plan to open up a long term a long trade then this could be a nice opportunity for you. Of course we're still very overbought in the bigger time frames but if you think that Bitcoin is going towards 20k right now and also way higher before a major correction then this could be a good long opportunity for you but make sure to go only with low leverage in so your liquidation price will stay far away from the actual price even if we would drop a little bit more and now we can go over into the four hour time frame because here you can see that currently we are having a four hour close below the 20 moving average which of course is very bearish here at least for the four hour time frame. So what I'm expecting right now is here a pump towards the 20 moving average at $18,400 and if here we're gonna have a four hour close below this price level then this is now the new confirmed resistance and we should expect here continuation to the downside potentially even down here towards the 200 moving average in the four hour at $14,940 so let's say at around $15,000 so the price could even come down here towards this moving average here before having another bounce to the upside. Also the RSI currently is trading below the 50 level so if we confirm it now as the new resistance we should expect here in the next couple of hours maybe even days continuation to the downside before maybe we're coming up again towards $18,600 because keep in mind that if on Monday we're gonna open up again the CMEs below $18,600 we will have a new fresh CME gap so keep that in mind wherever the price is going during the weekend we're gonna have a new CME gap and if we now go over into the Bollinger Bands you can see that currently we're right at the bottom so the price came now down to the bottom and in order to maintain our bullish momentum to the upside we should immediately recover right now again above $18,400 otherwise this could be a local top and we will see continuation to the downside because now all the indicators in the 4 hour are shifted to the downside and that's why we could expect here continuation towards the 200 moving average which is right here at $15,000 and remember my friends don't go and panic sell your Bitcoin try to buy the dip try to long every dip that is going to happen in the next couple of months and years because Bitcoin for the long term is looking very very 
bullish and now we can go over into the daily time frame because here you can see that the price came right down here towards the nine day moving average and i told you my friends as long as we're closing daily candles above the nine day moving average which currently is at seventeen thousand five hundred dollar we will remain on our bullish way to the upside and we are keeping up with this moving average on the way towards 20k right now so only if we're gonna have a daily close below the nine day moving average then expect a major correction towards the 20 daily right at $16,400 or maybe even down towards the 200 daily moving average which is lining up with our main support down here at around $12,000. You see also that all the indicators even my own indicator is giving out sell signals since quite some time. That of course is what we're gonna see also during the next bull run here even though we could have a correction because all the indicators are very overextended right now and this is normal that we are seeing such a thing during an uptrend and that's why although you should be very careful when you opening up longs especially high leveraged longs because the price could correct at any time towards one of these important moving averages and if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the daily you can see that also here we are just coming down to the first moving average so we could even drop down here towards the midline of 16,400 and still be trending to the upside so if you're waiting for a dip then watch out here for these two levels here between $17,500 down to $16,400 we still also have all the indicators shifted to the upside on the stochastic here had a bearish cross but therefore we're gonna have to see where we're gonna close the daily candle here on the spot chart because on the CMEs we closed already bullish and we're gonna open up again on Monday but here on the spot chart we should also maintain our important supports here on the way to the upside and as you also know by now on weekend we always see these pump and dump scenarios so if you're waiting for a good dip for a good long opportunity then this could be the one for you and now before we go into the bitcoin dominance chart and also into the ethereum chart we're gonna have a final look into the weekly time frame here on the bitcoin price because as you can see also here all the indicators are very exhausted so it's just a matter of time till we're gonna see a major correction to the downside and in that case my target would be to reach the 20 weekly moving average right at $11,900 so at around 12,000 and I think it is very likely that we will reach this price level if this was the local top here so if this $19,200 was the local top and from here on we're gonna have another correction before we gearing up here to break 20k and go into new levels and you can also see this is coinciding here with the 0.5 fib line based on the move that we had since the bottom in march and the top that we had currently so this is the price level where i have all my buy orders set already but on the way down i already will start to scale in some nice long positions with low leverage so the lower the price goes the more i can stack up my long position and also buy even more bitcoin with cheaper prices and as soon as the price is going to skyrocket again my long position is already in and that strategy i think is also good for you my friend so if you're waiting for a good long term long position then with this next correction that could happen in the next couple of days might be the perfect entry points and now let's go back into the daily time frame and open up first the bitcoin dominance chart because as you can see right now is that we are breaking below this important support that we had here in the last couple of days and that means that we could be now on the way towards the 60 percent level and therefore i'm expecting a possible little altcoin season so some altcoins i'm sure they're gonna perform in the next couple of days pretty well since right now we are breaking below a major support here in the bitcoin dominance chart and it is very likely that we will come down here to test the 200 daily moving average at around 62 percent and that could also mean that maybe we're going to touch again the main support down here at around 59 percent so if we zoom out here in this chart you can see that we are still in this consolidation wedge in the bitcoin dominance and pretty soon we're gonna have also here a breakout to the upside or to the downside and this will mean that we're gonna see a potential altcoin season if we're gonna break out here to the downside or at the other hand bitcoin will continue to outperform all the altcoins if here we're gonna have a big breakout to the upside and if we go now over into the ethereum to bitcoin chart you can see that currently we are breaking out from this falling wedge that i told you in the last couple of videos that if here we're gonna have a breakout to the upside we will see ethereum gaining value over bitcoin because in that case we will see here the price going straight to the upside and the target could be all the way up here where we started this falling wedge and this possible ethereum pump could be also confirmed by this double bottom formation and also with this buy 
signal that we had right now so watch out for the ethereum price compared to bitcoin because here we could see a big pump incoming pretty soon so if you're looking to do a nice swing trade then maybe currently it is a good opportunity to sell some bitcoins for ethereum and swing trade this and as soon as we're gonna top out again change it back into bitcoin so like this you could also multiply your bitcoin if this scenario is going to play out so you see my friends currently there are some chances to multiply your bitcoins trading over on bybit or femex or also swing trade with ethereum right now let's see if this is going to play out be ready for all scenarios and don't forget to buy every dip that Bitcoin is gonna have here in the next couple of weeks, months and years. And if you're currently trading on Bybit and Femex, make sure to use all these nice bonus and rewards that they offering to you because currently on Bybit we still have this special bonus up to $500 if you sign up with my referral link and put these voucher codes in the rewards hub and also on femex currently we have a big deposit giveaway promotion that is starting from tomorrow november 23rd till december 22nd so if you put a deposit of 0.2 bitcoin up to 1.5 bitcoin on your femex account you can get up to 600 dollars in bonus so definitely go and take this bonus as long as they're offering this promotion and at the end i want to give you a small update on the prime xpt co-vesting feature here with this phoenix rising strategy that the no one trader is running right now so so far since its inception here a couple of days ago you can see that this trader had almost 70 percent losses and within only one day you can see that we recovered all of them and we're gonna have to see now of course what will happen with this strategy because i think that he is still in a short position so let's see if this is going to end well or not so if you're also interested in following other traders so you can just put some money in there and follow another trader for example this one over here had almost five thousand percent gains so even if you're following with small amounts you can do some very nice gains over here and if you want to try it out then make sure to use my referral link that you find down below here in the video description top up a little bit of bitcoins and check which trader and which strategy is good for you and you would like to follow me personally i'm only following the phoenix strategy for now but i'm always keeping an eye also on other traders and how they perform maybe i will also follow some other traders in the future but for now i'm only following this no one trader and i always keep you updated in what traders i'm following over on prime xpt in my discord trading chat so make sure also to follow me over on discord and also on my live streams over on twitch you find all the links down below here in the video description so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel and if you're completely new in the crypto space make sure to go right now to swissborg and coinbase use my invitation links down below here to open up an account over there and buy some bitcoins as soon as possible because with my links you will get some rewards and bonuses so you will get even more crypto so don't miss the boat go right now to coinbase and swissborg and buy some bitcoin you will not regret it so thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye